If you thought Mills and Boons was the be-all and end-all of romance novels, think again. Our homegrown novelist Nalini Singh is taking the international romance scene by storm with her world of angels, demons and mysterious shape-shifting creatures. Paranormal romance uh, basically covers anything beyond the norm. You know, it's, uh, it's why, um, so at the moment, um, the most well-known is probably Twilight and, you know, things like Buffy in terms of TV, what's on TV. Um, so that's, that's paranormal, anything from vampires to shapeshifters to angels to psychic abilities. You know, um, all that is paranormal. And for me, I always loved science fiction and fantasy as a teenager, and, and I still do. And I think um, I really enjoyed the stories that had a, um, a romantic thread in them. So it was sort of a natural thing for me to go ahead and um, try to make my own world and uh, yeah, yeah, play in those worlds. Six years and 13 full-length novels translated into more than 20 languages. Nalini Singh is now a New York Times best-selling author and USA bestseller. Being a New York Times bestseller was, how can I, really, really cool. <laughs> uh, it was really exciting when my uh, editor rang me to say that I had hit the New York Times because that was one of the things I always wanted to do, but it's not something you can control, really. You write the book and then it's... It's the readers who decide if, if you know, um, if it works. But oh, it was just an amazing, amazing feeling, and I, I just basically didn't do anything for the rest of that day because I was so excited. <laughs> I think the emotions. It doesn't matter what culture you're talking about. Um, the emotional resonance of a book will resonate. You know, will work for um, across cultures um, because we're all human um, beneath it all. Whatever. The cultural mores are and I think that's why romance works across so many genres and I think that's why my my books have been translated it's um, because they can reach the heart you know um, when you're talking about the heart uh, I think across the world it's it's very similar everyone feels the pain of a broken heart or the joy of being in love this writer never seems to run out of steam in her world of sex fantasy and paranormal powers there's always room for a new plot and an opportunity to explore. Sex is part of romance, so it's part of any good relationship. So that's how it fits into the book. I think a lot of people have this idea of romance, you know, it's just sex, but um, it's not because it's part of a whole book. It has to fit. Um, I think the best way I've ever heard it explained is to say a love scene sh should serve the same function as any other scene in the book, which is each scene has to convey something or move the action forward or it's not just there for no reason. Um, every scene has a purpose and that includes the love scenes. Around them. Speaking at the Romance Writers Conference last weekend in Auckland, Nalini shared her insight on world building in paranormal romance novels. It doesn't necessarily have to be an alternate reality or a futuristic world. Paranormal romance is currently the fastest growing genre of romance literature and Nalini's works are being lapped up by women all over the world. I think Nalini's books appeal to a worldwide audience because she creates fantasy, and fantasy is a worldwide... Uh, everybody wants to have the fantasy, everybody wants escapism, everybody wants to get immersed in a different world, especially during these times. I think she lends uh, that get, get, a, get away that every woman really finds appealing, no matter what language it's written in. I think it's amazing that someone from New Zealand in a small town has just created characters in a world that sell with, with velocity, because that's what the Times list looks at, not only the volume, but how fast a book sells every week. And I think her publisher's done a great job in promoting her, but I think her fan base is just, you know, so voracious for that next read that they really pushed her to that, to that New York Times status. So when they know her book is coming out, they're going to the bookstores that very moment of release, and that's what's gotten her to the Times list because they're just so anxious for the next story in her series. But closer to home, Nalini is yet to be recognized as the bestseller that she is. And the riches from writing are yet to come. <laughs> that's right, I'm a millionaire. <laughs>
<laughs> Seriously, anyone who wants to become a millionaire shouldn't become a writer. <laughs> Nalini may not be as well known here just because the publicity isn't available for her. I hope that readers will understand that it's amazing that any author makes a New York Times list no matter where they're from, especially with something like a paranormal romance that Nalini is famous for. So I think, you know, hopefully New Zealanders will realize what a gem they have amongst them. In the meantime, this prolific writer will keep drawing her readers around the globe into her strange and enchanted world of romance, where love has different rules. They're just drawn to my stories for the same reason that people read romance. I mean, it's about emotion, it's about hope. Um, yeah, it, it, I think romance is really... Um, give people something good when you read it, you feel fulfilled at the end of it. Yeah.